All right, I decided to show you inside. A little bit of the rain. It's kind of starting to go away now. I mean, when I went to town, the sky all looked like that. And on the way back, it was solid black and raining like pouring piss out of a boot. So, all right. Uh, you know, the last time I made a video on this car, I uh, said, you know, where I don't have any of the H back, it's really bad for not being able to clean the windshield off. And I think that was a five below fan, desktop USB powered fans. I've got it plugged up into my cigarette lighter. Uh, it works good to kind of give me some airflow. But it works really good to clean off half the windshield. So, yep. What? Did you just think I was going to fix it right? You should know better by now. Adapt and overcome. Okay. So, here we go. Uh, 90 two, three, four, Metro. I've worked on this before. It's got a video or two. Uh, yeah. So I don't remember showing you as I might have. I might have deleted it. I don't know, but uh, that engine ate something on that piston I put a set of rings in it and a set of rod bearings so what we're doing now I'm taking the head bolts out of this engine which is that car's original engine. The boy had bought new head bolts when he put a head gasket on this. And still couldn't get it to run because it didn't have compression like it should have had. So uh, yeah. So I'm gonna take these head bolts out because they're new and he already paid for them. Otherwise, I'll just go ahead and use the original ones. <laughs> okay, that's what happens if your uh, intake gasket's leaking antifreeze into the intake in the head. Those valves were new, especially the exhaust valves. I was hoping that uh, there'd be a set of pistons I could use because this engine needs a, uh, at least one piston. That front one might be okay. What I came after was the head bolts. These aren't torqued to yield. I'll show you some more here in a minute. All right. I didn't show you, I don't think. You might have seen them, but there were two bolts broken off, one here and one here. I got them out, but I have to come up with two bolts. I don't have any. So, I put a set of spark plugs in it that were originally in my car. There wasn't nothing wrong with them. The ones that were in this 
uh, one of them got broken by whatever was in that cylinder and the other two were all jacked up too so I just went ahead and put a different set of plugs in it all right the intakes on it I just have to hook everything up but uh, cleaned out everything the best I could even replaced the gasket between the throttle body and the intake Everything's, all the gaskets are new. All right, I got it running. Uh, probably really should have showed you all this. I've, I've never seen so much. It ran, I drove it over here. The injector was stuck shut. I'd put another injector in it out of uh, this intake I put a lot of uh, about half as well a whole bottle of Marvel mystery oil in it to try to help uh, break a bunch of stuff loose and after it gets up to temperature I want to dump the oil out and uh, it'll be ready to have new oil and new filter Honestly, it sounds decent. I had the uh, cylinders full of oil and stuff when I was letting it set, so that's uh. That's Marble Mystery Oil Burner. There will be one more video on this car, and that'll be when I've gotten everything else I'm supposed to do to it done. I'll show you the car going down the road but it's uh, rebuilt and it's just gonna it's gonna do this for a long time the entire exhaust in that car was uh, full of oil it's gonna do this for a long time It sounds fine. I think that's stuck. Yeah, idle air control is bad. They all they all do that. Timing might still be a little bit high too. It's uh it's running. I'll see us again next time. There's 250 horsepower worth of metros back here.